which you guys got another video here for you. This trick can recover lost partitions on your hard drive to recover your data. Now, if you have a hard drive partition like this with all your data on it, and for some reason you get a blue screen of death or it becomes corrupted and you lose that partition, you will lose all your data. But in this video, I'm going to show you a really simple trick on how to recover your partition, which will help recover all of the data on those partitions. So we're going to go through that in this video. So let me quickly go ahead and I'll remove these two partitions with some data on them. And I'll quickly show you a simple trick that you can use to recover it. And we're going to go into disk management right here. And inside here, you can see we do have those partitions here. So let me go ahead and quickly uh, delete these. So all I need to do here is I'm just going to highlight these and delete the volume. Now, this can happen for whatever strange reason on Windows where all of a sudden you boot up and you've got a corrupt uh, partition, or maybe you've deleted by accident, or maybe you've just completely uh, booted the PC up and all of a sudden your partition table is completely gone. So now we've removed those. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to quickly show you a way to recover. You can see we do not have these on the system. You can use a free tool called uh, ESUS Partition Master. There is a free version here. I'm going to be using the pro version here, but you can use the uh, free version. It can convert MBR to GPT. It can do a lot of stuff like copying the OS and the data to another hard drive or SSD. And it can do a load of other things like resizing and moving partitions, extending system partitions, create and delete partitions, merge partitions, format and white partitions, and quick partition new disks and stuff like that. So it is quite a useful tool to have. So let's first take a quick look at the free version and the pro version and the comparisons here. Now there's a few little features on this that you don't get with the free version but you do get with the pro version and the pro version wasn't that much money. So I wanted to show you how this works. So I'm going to download the software and get it installed on the system here. Once it's installed, uh, we'll should be able to show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. It's going to go ahead and download what it needs and basically install it on the system. You should see something looking like this. I'm going to paste in my key right here and quickly paste that in and click on activate and this should activate our software. So it's just letting it go off to the server and activate. And there we go. We've got the pro version now activated and installed on the system. So let's go ahead and try to recover these partitions here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to quickly show you there's no partitions here. So we're going to go up to the re uh, partition recovery here, click on this option right here. And then all we need to do now is highlight the actual drive itself, which is this one right here. And once we've done that, we can click scan. And this is now going to scan that drive to see whether it can find any lost or deleted partitions. And straight away, you can see there is our partition. The thing to take note of here is the status says lost. And it also says the recoverability of this drive is in good health. That means we can uh, have a good chance of recovering both of these partitions if I needed to. So we're going to go ahead and I'll quickly show you how we can recover these. Now, this could be your lost data or it could be uh, all your precious photos, movies and things like that that you have on those partitions. And they have now gone. I remember when Microsoft did an update of Windows and it deleted everyone's partitions. And you could have used something like this to recover those uh, partitions for yourself. So you can double click on these and it will allow you to see the data inside of that partition as well before you recover it. And there's one right here. So we're gonna let the scan finish off here. It's nearly at 96% and we'll just let that finish and then we can quickly recover. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish. There we go. And now we can select one of these here. I'll do one and we can do another one afterwards if you want to. So we're going to do the stuff uh, partition here and we're going to click proceed. And this will then recover, hopefully, that partition right there. And you will see 
a scan on the system and all of a sudden it's updating the system information and you can see the operation completed successfully. So let me just quickly shut that off right there and we'll drop that down and we'll take a quick look at this PC and there is our partition has been recovered and there is our data. And the data is not corrupted, we can look at it and we can open it up and we can also uh, play that video. Let me just quickly play this video just to show you. And this is a video, so let me quickly highlight this one right here and let it go ahead and play. Okay, it's not been started up yet, so let me quickly just play this. And there we go, it is playing and it's working perfectly fine. So let me go ahead and close that off. So that's basically how you can quickly recover a lost or deleted partition or corrupted partition, and it gives you a chance to recover your data on that partition. It can work on hard drives and also uh, solid state drives. So let's go ahead and open up the application again. And there has been a change, so I need to say yes here, and it will do a quick update of the system. And all we need to do here now is I'm going to quickly go back into partition recovery and we'll recover that other partition as well. I'll quickly do that here. So you can do all of them at once or you can do them one at a time or you can just recover the stuff that you need as well. So let me quickly speed this up and we'll quickly recover that uh, storage partition right here. So let's click finish and we can now go back to this PC right here and we should see our partition has now been recovered. There is all our data and there is the other partition right there. So that's quickly how you can recover your partitions if they've been deleted or lost or maybe corrupted and it all works okay. Let me just quickly play this file right here so you can see it's all working perfectly fine. And there we go. Anyway, that is uh, how you can recover your partitions. Now this tool does also a migration of your operating system so you want to migrate it to a larger drive you can do and you can do that using this tool as well you can also use the clone feature so if you want to clone or use any of the other features like uh, WinPE creator you've got data backup app migration data recovery iPhone manager you've got a bunch of different stuff on there that you can use uh, with this particular piece of software if you want to resize uh, your partition tables, you can do. All you need to do here is choose your options. So I'm going to select the actual drive here. I'm going to resize this. You can move these sliders to whatever way you want to remove them, whether you want to expand them or reduce them. So I'm going to resize this and reduce it. And you can see all I need to do now is go up to execute this operation up the very top here. Click apply. And we've just now uh, shrunk the volume on that partition so that should give us more space and we'll let that finish off there we go click finish and all we need to do here now is we can actually create a new partition on the space that we just uh, created so I'm going to click on create we'll leave it as is it will give it a drive letter and we can execute that one operation here apply this and that is now done and it's that simple so I'm going to click finish here and there we go let's go back to this PC and let's take a look at the drives there we go we've just created another drive with its own drive letter right here anyway I think that's going to be about it so I hope this video has been some sort of use to you my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group whether you're tier 1, tier 2 or tier 3 I really do appreciate the support guys your names are rolling up on the screen right now for Tier 2 and Tier 3. And also, if you are on the Discord server, I'll catch you on there for a chat. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>